Piccadilly Road is a street mark in the heart of Dalston and it's been an East London institution since the 1880s. Its history reflects not just Dalston, but London in general. In the 1940s and 50s, it was a predominantly Jewish market, but as their community got wealthier and moved away, it attracted a growing number of Caribbean immigrants in the 1960s and 70s. We're gonna check out both the groceries and then also the different food options they have on Ridley Road Market and in, around Dalston in general and have some amazing food. Yo, look, this stuff is so cheap. That's what I mean. Wait. I'm gonna get my shopping here now. That's what I said. Oh, should we get some bread first? Yeah, I think breakfast is essential. Okay, what kind do we want? So we got bread from Ararat Bread. Everyone knows it in Ridley Road Market. It's really good though. That is good stuff. It's actually very nice. It's the one with the cheese. It's so fresh. It almost melts in your mouth. Yeah, you, they were like making it fresh on a spinning... Wheel. Wheel. A hot wheel. I got the egg and Didisha got the cheese. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good, yeah. It's like Middle Eastern flatbread. Mm. The market reflects the changing demographics in Dalston and what that means is it's deep in the throes of gentrification. The past 20 years, house prices in Hackney have risen more than anywhere else in Britain, over 500%, but over 30% of children in the area still live in poverty. So it just kind of shows the real income inequality and disparity in the area. With that comes changes to Ridley Road Market and it's already past its peak from what it once was. And this sucks because areas like this are one of the reasons that London is so great. It feels so different than the city or Soho or even Shoreditch, which is right down the road. The problem is, Dadisha, you're part of this problem, get in here. No, I'm not a part of the problem, you know. Shh, yeah, you are. I'm a huge part of the problem and so are you because young urban professionals are moving in and driving up rent prices, which means it's so much harder for people originally lived here to keep living here, but also that they're not shopping at the traders in the same way that the local communities were, which is just changing the face of the market. Yo, I'm a I'm not a part of this, you know. I'm in the community. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> oh my God, is that a llama? It's a llama, look. No, it's a sheep head. Look, you use it for soups. It's not a llama. You use it in soups. Yo, we need, oh my gosh, we can make a crab Whoa. curry. Yo, you know what? I know how to make an amazing crab curry. Are they herbs, Adisha? Greens? Spinach, you Spinach. <gasps> Look how big these are. Can we make a whole fish like that one day? So listen up. You know this place right here? We've got two punnets of bananas, two boxes of uh, blueberries, um, four avocados, and guess what the price is? Four quid. Now if you go to a supermarket, I'm gonna spend a tenner on this stuff. More even? Yeah, even more. An organic shop, 15 quid. So we've got like a 60% reduction in our stuff. And guess what, you know, we're helping like local businesses. And, stuff, and the so. quality, I think the quality of those blueberries looks way Stuff better. looks fresh, you know? Yeah. He gave us a sample falafel and it won us over. <laughs> Good business. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a nice day, yeah. Price is actually quite shocking for me. It's cheap. It is cheap on a whole new level, right? And how fresh the food is, unbelievable. With like the roasted vegetables too, not just plain falafel. They've got roasted aubergine, one of my all-time favorites. Let's just see my reaction. <laughs> I 
Now, if you really want to know what a falafel wrap is, you've got to come to this place. Oh, wow. Big praise. This is what a falafel wrap is because it's simple. Yeah. Simple but good. A few things on point. Few things on point. Good food motto. Hi, how much of the corn? Street grilled corn. And what else? It's so hot. Is it hot? Yeah, it's kind of burning my hand. <laughs> Just fresh grilled street corn. It's not that hot at all. You're crazy. Oh no. So at the end of Dalt Ridley Road Market, there's a Turkish grocery store. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Dadisha just decided to get an eclair even though it doesn't reflect the Dalston food scene. It's not Jewish, it's not Caribbean, it's not Turkish or Greek or Vietnamese and you're just going for it. That is nice. I haven't eaten an eclair in years. They're pretty nice. Oh, there's a, it's supposed to be really good to cook. Mm. No, they're good. I imagine they taste just like squid. Yeah, honestly, snails are really nice. I had them in Paris. I know it's the food. So? That's just like that, but bigger. Yeah, but that looked a bit unappealing. You know, it was massive. Those were the tiny ones. These guys are big. <laughs> Piping hot. Ah. Oh my god, the smell. Are those the ribs? No, this is um, jerk pork. Jerk pork. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> just like some chicken wings in the mouth. Oh, that yeah. smells just as good. Okay, that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, I think I want to come back for the jerk pork, but the jerk chicken will do for now. Jerk chicken? Yes, please. Jerk chicken and salad. Yes, please. Looks so good. Thank you. This is look at that sauce. Oh. Real stuff. We're eating jerk chicken in Dalston, which is I feel like one of the places to eat it in the UK. So, and I love when you eat a food that's connected to the place because the Caribbean community in London is like the reason that Ridley Road is the way it is. You gonna say anything? <laughs> Just taking a moment. <laughs> Colonel Saunders needs to try this. Because <laughs> when he does it, he's going to quit KFC and start coming here. He's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. Mm. The sauce on top. Oh. You need to sell that sauce. It's very spicy actually. Oh, it's good spice though. Mm. Uh. Meat and smoke, guys. Meat and smoke. Mm. Oh, the smell. You eat the eat chicken? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Most people know it's vegetarian. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything better than like good smelling smoke, like meat and smoke combined. <laughs> Yes, good morning, sir. <laughs> okay, Ridley Road food tour done. We did some grocery shopping. We ate some Caribbean food, Middle Eastern, Turkish. I forget what else we ate. We ate some good food, and now we're gonna cycle around East London. And honestly, if you're in London, you probably will come to Dalston. If you're like a hipster, if you're into hipster things, you're probably going to come to Dalston. But you need to check out Ridley Road to understand its history and all the other communities that um, 
that make Dalston what yeah, it is you, you and make it so great. Yeah, you've got to understand the roots, you know. You've got to go there before you go to the coffee shops. You know? Exactly. That's what I'm going to do. Just like, <laughs> be like, oh, must not have turmeric latte. Exactly. You, you have know? to explore everything else and then have a turmeric latte. Exactly. Which is why we're going to yeah. go get a turmeric. No, we're going to have mulled wine, yeah. which is the Christmas equivalent of a turmeric latte. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>